thanks for watching. This video is to show off one of our new ISD based record and playback kits. It comes with the 1 watt 8 ohm speaker. Um, it requires 5 volts to operate. And it's got, uh, it's very easy to use. Each button has its own function. It's kind of, uh, it's very user friendly and easy to operate on its own. So really I'm just kind of wasting time here trying to uh, fill out the entire memory by talking. There is an onboard microphone, a uh, power LED, you have a 5mm jack that you can use to apply 5 volts, or you can use the uh, header right there. You can also uh, use the uh, audio output right here to interface with an audio amplifier. You can also use the speaker output to, output to do that too, but it's really up to you. On the board, there's a, um, a jumper that allows for you to switch between uh, a 60 kilohertz sampling rate and 80 kilohertz sampling rate. When you record with 60, the, the quality isn't as good as when it's at... And it cut out because I maxed out the memory. Uh, I had that at 80 kilohertz sampling rate, and <laughs> it's really, really good uh, audio quality. Uh, now, if I had recorded on um, with the jumper between the com and the common pin and 60 kilohertz, it wouldn't have been as good, but we would have had more recording time. So that was about a minute. I imagine we'd get about a minute and a half on the, uh, well, not quite a minute and a half on 60 kilohertz, but you would get more time. There are uh, seven buttons. They're all labeled. Reset volume. You tap volume and it brings the output volume down. Uh, FT, play, record, erase, and fast forward. So you can actually record a bunch of different, uh, a bunch of different commands by, uh, and you can just fill out the memory. So what happens is if I press play and said hi there, my name is Patrick, blah 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 blah, I'd stop and I'd press fast forward and I'd, I'd uh, press play again, say, uh, I like meatloaf, and then I'd press fast stop and I'd press fast forward again, and I press play again and I'd say derp de derp, and I'd have three different messages and I could just scroll through them by pressing play, fast forward, play, fast forward, plus play, fast forward. I can also do a mass erase by holding down the erase button, uh, reset, say I've got my volume settings all screwed up and I don't like them, I can just press reset. Reset will reset anything, but, but the, uh, the audio that you have in your, um, chip will stay the same. Now if I want to, uh, uh, you know, after power up, it's saved permanently in there. Uh, now if I want to do a mass erase, I just have to hold the erase button uh, and it'll the LED will keep blinking uh, until, uh, until it's fully deleted. So now it should be fully deleted and we can start from scratch again. So for just for fun, let's do one more. Let's do, let's do record a couple messages. So my chip is fully erased. I'm going to I'm going to record five different messages and then I'm going to play them back. And really I'm just going to be using the uh, play button, the record button and the fast forward button. So if I, since, since the chip is erased, if I press play, nothing will happen. <coughs> I've got it set to 80 kilohertz sampling rate. So I'm going to press record. Hi guys. I'm going to press record again. How's it going? Thanks for watching the video. That last one might have been cut off a little bit because I started a bit prematurely. Derp de derp. Herp de derp. So I'll press, when I press play, I'll likely hear the last one first. Herp de derp. So I'll press fast forward and I'll press play once. Hi guys. Message one, press fast forward. And I can keep recording messages until my allotment runs out. So really, it's it's easy to use. You fiddle around with it, you get used to it. Each button has its own uh, use. Uh, what I since I don't have a, uh, a five a five volt. Actually, I do. I was just too lazy to get it out. Uh, a five volt uh, power tr wall transformer. I'm just going to be. I just connected here using the. Uh, the uh, terminal block here, or the rather the header right here, which is labeled 5 volts and ground. That's just an extra input. Uh, I used wire wrap, but you could solder, you can solder the bottom board, really easy to use. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. You can find this at engineeringshock and at uh, engineeringshock.com and electroniclessons.com. Thanks for watching, guys.